Welcome, so some of us may have been using nail varnish as conformal coating for boards, yeah, several electronic boards, and that's what I've been using for quite some time actually. I started with, well, this stuff, and it has been doing the job very well, as it doesn't dry up like the others do, because this stuff remains somewhat like soft rubbery, even after it dries up, and I later noticed, it took me some time to notice that all the others that I have are not like that. I just buy the cheap stuff, like this is one euro from yeah one euro shop, and I've used up the bottle, almost used up the, what is it, 12 milliliters, so yeah not a high quantity and well that's what I've had around easily accessible if you want to buy proper PCB varnish or well PVB varnish but yeah the electronic boards kind of varnish this stuff is pretty pricey in here so I picked up this one euro crap and yeah, I expected that it would be like the old stuff that I started with and found it very usable as conformal coating for various things as well as marking some wires. You know, you have two black wires and you wanna mark which is positive, which is negative. So I just took some blue. I no longer had any red so for long, so I've only marked the red, uh, the blue. Then I also bought these in four colors. And then I started to notice that this stuff really kind of started to fall off after some time. So you put it on a cable and sometime later it was no longer on the entire perimeter. So yeah, it, it wasn't actually even as good as tape. Well, I don't like using tape for marking colors in this case, but ultimately the best stuff you can get are these thermo shrink tubes, but you have to get them in all different diameters and colors. And with this stuff you only need the color. So that seems easier. But the problem is that at least this stuff is horrible for electronics. But this is what I saw when I revisited a project today. If you can please focus. Thank you. So it's a random Arduino type board compatible. And one has conformal coding, one does not have it. Both have some leftover flux. It, yeah, I applied quite a lot of transparent nail varnish, exactly this one. Uh, as I wanted to weatherproof this stuff, it's supposed to be mounted outside and report the wiggle wobble of an antenna. So it has to have some moisture protection. And well, let's take a closer look at this stuff. It's become somewhat white and it didn't happen immediately. It didn't even happen after a month, it took several months. Let me show you. No, I expected it would be easier. But I can scrape that off and actually here it came off just with a finger. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See. Here that's a pretty thick layer. Yep. Crunchy stuff. And not nicely looking. Not providing any protection at all, I think. Well, at least not much. Or even worse, this stuff could become hygroscopic, I don't know. If it's like powder, maybe. So just a quick video showing that the applications of nail varnish in electronics are 
somewhat more limited than we expected them to be. It's not a good replacement for the PVB varnish, although I thought it's basically the same thing. No, it isn't. Where's my lens? So let me give you a closer look at the thing. As you see, it's like separated from the board and components, especially the components. It's become so crispy, like really crispy. Comes off very easily. I suppose that this may be desired. It didn't happen immediately. It really didn't happen even within the first month. It took several months for this to happen. And I think this may be desired since it's a nail varnish. You don't want this stuff to stay on your fingernails and such forever. You probably want to remove it after, I don't know, a week? Less than that? Probably a week at most. It's desired if it's used for its intended purpose. So yeah, don't use clear nail varnish as conformal coating. Actually, the proper stuff is much cheaper per liter unit of volume, so you probably don't want to risk... If you have used it before, then check on, that, check on those boards that you have used it for, and buy proper PCB varnish that's specified. That's not a hit and miss. Like, out of all of these bottles, only this stuff is nice. I just dug up this board, and... The green stuff doesn't seem to have the same problems as the transparent stuff, which is also on this board. And it also doesn't appear to have those problems. Well... Maybe it will start getting these problems next month. So, reconsider using nail varnish for any electronic project. So, hope you learned something and have a good day.